Hey guys, welcome back to Flying Dutchman videos and uh, my GTA 5 Let's Play. Um, in advance, I have to apologize because I played uh, through the missions I'm about to show you uh, before, but my capture card developed some kind of issue and about an hour and a half of footage yeah, got thrown down the toilet. So I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to uh, replay this from the uh, replay mission screen, which means it's not gonna be as fluid as playing through the game in a normal pace. But at any rate, I wanted to show you guys these missions. So here we go. This girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martín Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks, or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier, but I gotta make a big take. Uh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. In words the wise, uh, before you start there this no arc, old guys. you need Moses, uh, um, what the game calls Jesus smart clothes. Irish which I they mostly just disappeared. That pretty much just means go to an upscale store and buy, a, buy yourself a, a jacket Indian and a pair, pair of pants. That's pretty City. much it. Because otherwise, uh, for some reason, Lester doesn't want to uh, work with you. I, gu I guess they're not going to let you into Evangelico well, if you need wear uh, you cargo pants and a, a t-shirt. I've with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. It's kind of, uh, this, I just noticed this just now. Portola. It's kind of weird, that, like, uh, well, not weird, I guess more handy, if anything. Though, it, like, it's your useful, it's debatable, buddy, but... Uh, you're back in business. Uh, whenever you enter a car, buddies. it also mentions what are you talking about? Uh, I checked the out class the of car. WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident. The shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Townley. Yeah, 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 all right. <laughs> you should be a narrator. Let me think uh, we're going to run into this uh, Dave Norton Look, sooner uh, or later. We can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm going to run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Here we so, are. Vangelico is right around the corner. So, uh, If you wanted to do this like... Uh, for gold medal, it imposes a time limit, so your best bet is to sprint over there. Okay. And once inside, uh, you're gonna to need to take uh, you're gonna take need to take pictures of the uh, the keypad, the vents, and a camera. Sir, thank you. And the keypad drive, is right over here. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in uh, on the wall by the side door. Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Can you get me an air vent in one of the cameras? Uh, shots come through. Camera check. Alarm check. Vent and then you need check. to uh, talk hey, to the uh, lady there. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe 10 grand. Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. And that's pretty much that. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. That show is amazing. You're nothing. You're a nobody. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof.
Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. This mission is dead easy. There's like, there's no opposition at all. Just have to get up to the roof and uh, take a picture of um, Evangelico's AC unit. So you That's keep up with the old crew? Really. There's nothing complicated about it. Much holding us together. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? I'm on the roof. All right, use the glasses Look at that to get a shot of like, Angelico's roof unit. It's not a... Right, it's, well, it's not a graphically advanced game like you'd expect from, uh, like, say, Metro Last Light or anything, but it does look pretty good, especially for a console game. North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over, like, graphics are not the point of this game, but still, it, it looks, in its own way, it looks authentic. I don't know, like, it, look, it looks like a, a lot like real life, in terms of, of lighting and stuff like that. Obviously, there are going to be limitations in terms of hardware with the uh, shading and stuff like you see with the, uh, the jaggies and shadows. That's a console thing, you can't get around that, but still, it looks pretty good for a console game. It's pretty amazing what they've managed to squeeze out of uh, this old hardware by now. And we're done. That's the shot. You've covered the vents on the roof now. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> now come back to me before we'll someone spots you up there. Face planted into that wall. <laughs> Again, uh, if you want to get a gold medal on this, you m might want to hurry. Also, sprinting impro improves your stamina, so that's a good thing as well. This jacket has some uh, clipping issues. Moving quickly can be a bit frustrating sometimes, considering the the, the weight of the uh, controls. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Well, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes who rub his nose in it. Uh, good. Alarm system's linked to the door lock. And we'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm, glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you could smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur. And that's pretty much it. Like, there's two other uh, preparatory missions for the heist. And I'll do those. Uh, I'll do those now, considering that they're pretty short and uh, easy to do. You can make them a lot harder on yourself uh, if you just uh, go in without thinking it through, but they're pretty easy once you uh, uh, figure out a sane, or a sane uh, safe way to approach them. Because you can go in guns blazing, but you can also uh, do it stealthily, or at least somewhat stealthily. So, uh, the point of this uh, heist prep mission is to steal a bug store's extermination uh, van, which you'll use to disguise yourself as well, the exterminator guys. So it's easy, very easy this. Like, you don't want to go in through the front door because you'll be stopped and you'll get noticed, but if you go in through the back, you can easily steal one of the vans. As you, I, as you see in a few seconds here. Shut up a second. You looking for something? Yeah, uh, bug star exterminators. This is just the depot, chief. You want a book? You got to visit main office. 
crap. I guess I was just a bit too loud there. Main office will help you with your bug count. All right, back to it. <laughs> okay. So uh, keep your noise down. I know you won't notice. Sneak in and whack this guy in the back of the head. <laughs> and that's that, really. Like, it's this simple. some uh, stunt oriented objects here in case you guys want to uh, do some stunning all of these uh, Heist prep missions are really, really simple. At least, that's probably because this is the first heist you have to do. So yeah, they're getting it's a simple heist, so the uh, the preparation for it is simple as well. But it's really just stealing this van and, and getting uh, sleeping gas from a transport, and that's it. Like the only way you can make the transport one hard is uh, probably by trying to attack the uh, the driver because he will uh, get try and get away. And I wouldn't exactly describe the uh, the drive-by mechanics as smooth enough, so you can like actually be a real danger, at least with a pistol. So the way to approach that is to just drive behind him and uh, shoot out the locks on the, uh, the doors on the van, and then the a couple of cases of uh, BZ gas will come rolling out, and you have to pick up one of those. Now, uh, when you do that, you'll attract some attention from the cops, though. Uh, not a lot, certainly less than when you uh, just open fire on him on the driver. And you'll have to get away, and that's pretty much it. Like, it's one or two stars, so it's easily avoided. It shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes, really. So this is the uh, BZ gas grenade mission. And normally, when you do this and you come in like fluidly from the game, you'll have to drive to the location somewhere along uh, one of the highway arteries. Uh, however, in the case of when you're replaying it, you'll just get teleported straight behind the gas fan. In which case, you just have to uh, use the drive-by mechanic and do that. Right now. And that's pretty much it. That's the uh, the gas grenade. And that's it. If you're lucky enough, there's not not even cops in the neighborhood, so you'll be able to get away pretty much scot-free. Can you hear and wait it out? And that's it. And then just pretty much the same as uh, 
the stealing the van, you just have to drive to Leicester's and drop off the, the gas grenades. And now, when you do this, the uh, heist mission will start. So, you have to be, well, pretty much here, you're pretty much ready in any case. Like, if you went the uh, guns blazing route, you have the, uh, you'll have the guns. And when you have the, um, when you did the silent route, you have all the stuff you need then, because you, you won't be needing any uh, firearms then, you don't. So you're ready in any case, just don't uh, be surprised when it starts pretty much immediately. And then uh, just head upstairs and drop it off in uh, Lester's back office. In any case, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to do the uh, the heist itself as a separate video, considering that takes a bit longer. But thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys for the heist video. Thanks.